So let's see how far your math memory goes back. So we're talking about a basic division problem, and we're going to do this without the aid of a calculator. And a lot of you have not had to do a basic division problem like this in maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 plus years without a calculator. All right, so we have 2, 7, 3, 6. We're going to divide it by 9. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the complete steps in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we are talking about basic arithmetic and division. We have 2, 7, 3, 6, and we're going to divide it by 9. Now, if you're going to do this problem, don't forget to include a remainder if you get one. All right, so let's take a look at the steps to do this basic division problem. So the first step to solve this problem is to write it in a different way. Now, one way you can think of this problem is as a fraction. So 2, 7, 3, 6 would be our numerator, and 9 would be our denominator. So remember, when you have a fraction, the fraction bar itself is the division operation. But uh, this isn't really going to help us out to calculate the answer. So we're going to want to write this problem in this way right here. Okay, so we have 2, 7, 3, 6, and we're going to divide it by 9. So hopefully uh, most of you out there knew to take this first step. So the second question that comes to mind here is, uh, is 2, 7, 3, 6 divisible by 9? In other words, are we going to get a remainder or not? So some of you might be thinking, well, the only way to know that answer is to do the problem and see if we have anything left over. But actually, there is another way, and that is we can use something called a divisibility rule. Now, if something is divisible by 9, it's also divisible, divisible by 3. So, for example, 9 is divisible by 9. Now, that word divisible means that um, uh, the answer, when you divide, is going to have a remainder 0. So, in other words, there's no remainder. So, 9 goes into the, uh, 9 one time, no remainder. But 9 also goes into uh, 18 twice uh, with no remainder. So, 18 is divisible by 9. Now, again, if a number is divisible by 9, it's also going to be divisible by 3 because 3 is a factor of 9. In other words, 9 is the same thing as 3 times 3. So we can check to see if this number right here is divisible by 3 because if it's divisible by 3, well, it's going to be divisible by 9. And there is a very easy way to check to see if a number is divisible by 3 using a simple divisibility rule. And that is, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, well, then the entire number is divisible by 3. So the sum of the digits is the following. Okay, so all we're going to do is take the digits. So our first digit is 2. We're going to add it to our second digit, 7. And then we'll add it to our third digit, 3. And then our last digit, 6. So 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6 is 18. So now we have to ask ourselves, is 18 divisible by 3? Of course, the answer is yes. So when we do this problem right here, that means we're going to have a remainder of 0. Okay, so if you got a remainder in your answer, well, maybe you want to go back and see if you made an error. But now let's go ahead and talk about something called the division algorithm. And that is the specific steps that we all learned way back in the good old days to do a basic division problem like this. Before we continue on, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button. Now, the reason I want more subscribers is basically I look at everybody that subscribes to my channel as a new student. And as a math teacher, that makes me very happy. So uh, the best way to support this channel and what I do is to simply hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, remember, uh, irrespective of whether you're a math student or not, 
If you want to relearn math, for example, and you've been out of school for many, many years, I have two great courses, my Math Foundation and my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to all of this in the description of this video. But if you happen to be a student, make sure to check out my full uh, course library. Again, you can find the links to all of this in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem right now. Okay, so now comes the fun part of this problem, and that is to actually do the division. Now, one thing about dividing numbers without a calculator, you first need to know how to multiply. So you uh, may not remember, but before you learn division, you had to master the times tables, right? So all these little, this little chart here called the times table, you put like one, two, three, four, five, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, this way, and it kept going on and on and on. And then of course you needed to know what four times three is, five times five is, et cetera, et cetera, because you can't uh, divide unless you know how to do basic multiplication. So if you're struggling with uh, basic arithmetic, particularly division, make sure you understand multiplication. All right, now, assuming you do know how to multiply basic numbers, what we need to do here is use something called the division algorithm. Now, none of you uh, were taught by your teachers. They never said, hey, class, we're going to learn the division algorithm. But the division algorithm is kind of an advanced uh, math description of the steps that we're going to take to actually calculate the answer here. Okay. Now the steps are the same steps that we use to divide things like polynomials, things that we do in advanced algebra. It's the actual same step and an algorithm is nothing more than a recipe or a little kind of uh, uh, program that we're going to apply to get the answer. Okay, so it's not important uh, that you know that that's called the division algorithm, but uh, I thought that you may be interested in it, but let's go ahead and talk about the division algorithm right now. So that is, of course, the steps we take to uh, do the division uh, to get the right answer. All right, so this is the division algorithm. We're gonna take our number nine, and we're trying to take 2736 and divide it by nine. So the first step of the division algorithm is to see if nine can be divided into two, right? So two can't, nine can't go into two, right? So that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is add a digit. All right, so now we have 27. So is 27 divisible by nine? In other words, can nine go into 27? Now remember, I was talking about multiplication. So if you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I'm not quite sure, what you're doing in your brain is you're using your multiplication knowledge here. Well, nine times one is nine. Nine times two, that's 18. Uh, nine times three, oh, that's 27. So yes, 27 uh, can be divided by nine three times. So you're gonna put that answer right here above the seven. Okay, so that is our first step. So now what we're gonna do, again, this is the division algorithm. We're gonna take this three and multiply by nine. Of course, that's 27, and we're gonna subtract it underneath this uh, number right here. Okay, so 27 uh, subtracted from 27, of course, is zero. So can nine go into zero? No. So what we're gonna do is drop a digit down. So we're gonna take this three and drop it down right here. All right, so can nine go into three? No, it cannot. So at this point, what we need to do is put a zero as a placeholder, right? So nine cannot go into three. Okay, so we're gonna have to add another digit. Of course, we'll uh, drop down this six. So can nine go into 36? Well, the correct answer uh, is uh, yes, and that is four, right? So again, we'll kind of go back to our little person here. They're thinking to themselves, well, let's see here, nine times three, that's 27. 9 times 4 is, oh yes, that's 36. So 9 could go into 36 four times. So here we have 4 times 9. Of course, that's 36. And when we subtract 36 from uh, 36, that's 0. And we have uh, basically are done with the problem because there are no more digits. Okay, so our final answer here is 304. All right, so how did you do? Well, did you remember this stuff? Well, I learned uh, personally how to do basic arithmetic, oh, maybe like in 1976, 77. It was a long time ago. I kind of, um, I, I feel kind of bad about it. I don't remember 
all of my teachers' names, okay? But I'm definitely grateful to each and every one of them because, so, you know, we just don't magically learn these things that we were taught, you know, back in primary and elementary school. Somebody taught us that, and it, uh, that person was a committed uh, teacher. So if you learn this way back in the 50s, 40s, 80s, 90s, it doesn't make a difference. If you remember how to do this problem without a calculator, well, you have those teachers to thank. All right, so if you didn't get this right, no big deal. Make sure to check out my Math Foundations or my Math Skills Rebuilder course if you want to uh, relearn and capture uh, your basic math skills and other skills as well. But uh, hopefully this video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.